Hello, English Picker here. Uh, just like to wish everyone a um, happy new year and um, we'll see what 2012 brings us. Um, I've been out picking today, uh, 1st of January 2012. Uh, start the year off with a bit of antiques picking. Uh, also did some picking on um, day before New Year's Eve. So here's some of the things I've found. First off here, um, went to a thrift store, a couple of thrift stores, um, day before New Year's Eve. And uh, I didn't get too much, uh, there wasn't a whole lot there. Um, but I got this book, uh, it's the first edition by Scott Truro, uh, Ordinary Heroes, a novel. Um, and it's a signed copy. Uh, it signatures all legit, you can feel the impression if you run your fingernail over it. Uh, checked it out compared to other signatures on the net, looks bob on. Uh, paid £1.50 for it. I'm hoping to get uh, between five and ten pounds. I, I would think on eBay. It's in quite good condition. The spine is uh, slightly off centre, and the, the edges of the page have yellowed a little bit. But for one pound fifty, I thought it was worth the risk. Um, not a hugely well-known writer in England. I think he's an American writer. Who, um, so uh, it's quite unusual to get uh, an English first edition with an American author's signature. But we'll see how that goes. Also from uh, the uh, charity shop thrift store, I got um, this watercolour. Um, the frame's pretty nasty, but it's well mounted. It's of a church. Um, always listen to Terminal 99's advice about buying art is better than buying a lottery ticket. So uh, for two quid, I thought it was worth the risk. You know, it's fairly well executed. The, the tower's not exactly straight, but it is sized at the bottom. Um, the way they mounted it has meant the signature is half blocked, so I'm going to take it to the auction and see see if it's a, a known artist or anything like that. So instead of my usual cup of tea, I'm enjoying a nice beer since it's uh, the new year. So yeah, here are the, some of the things that I found um, at the antiques fairs uh, today and yesterday. Uh, first thing I picked up, which was really cool, in amongst the costume jewellery, uh, was this uh, really nice necklace. Um, the person must have thought it was costume jewellery because it was priced at five pounds. And on the clasp, on the clasp, it doesn't actually have a mark, but just next to it, the link there does. The, it's it's an English hallmark, which is tiny, tiny hallmark. Uh, it doesn't say 95, it is an English hallmark, which is better, which means it, it is legit. I've tested it, it's silver. Uh, I think it weighs 35 grams, it's, it's like just over an ounce, 1.1 ounces of silver. It's for five quid. So, um, so yeah, well happy with that. Um, it'll, it'll go more for uh, as, a, as a chain, I would imagine. So, for five quid, that was a good deal. Also, along the jewelry front, I picked up this nice uh, cameo. For a, for a quid, uh, it's sort of in the Wedgwood style. It's ceramic, uh, just on a base metal back, but really, you know, pretty. So I'll get I'll get that on um, a snake chain and pop it on eBay. See how it goes. So then on to my find of the day. Uh, I, I seem to be getting lucky with these Morgan dollars recently. Um, this is a lovely Morgan dollar. It is a New Orleans mint, uh, and you can't really make it out in this light, unfortunately. Uh, but it's got the most amazing toning to it. If you can see just here, there's blues, there's reds. It's really stunning. There's a bit of a weird mark on her face there, but just around where it says E Pluribus Unum, you can just see blues and violets all the way around. And it's got the it's got the cartwheel. Weighs right as well. Um, it's an MS60 something I would say, um, it's really nice condition, 1890, um, all the edges really crisp, there's no rim bumps or anything. This side's got less toning but it's much nicer detail, there's really no marks at all, um, just a lovely coin, really nice. So um, that one was at an antiques fair from a coin dealer. Uh, and basically, he got it. I can't believe it. He got it marked up at 30 quid. He got some peace dollars there, 1922, that were worn as hell, that were marked up at 30 quid as well. So, but then he'd also got some Victoria Crown, Victorian crowns, which were 
mm, average at best, and they were marked up at 35, 40, 45. So really, you know, I was quite surprised. He had another Morgan as well, which was worn as hell, and that was marked up at 30. So I thought 30 quid, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, it knocked me 10% off, so I got it for £27, which, I mean, I reckon I could easily double my money with that. But it is very tempting to keep it because it is just such a lovely coin. I've uh, got a coin capsule for it to keep it safe as well. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Along with the American theme, I picked up another two American coins. 40% uh, silver, um, 1967 half dollar in uncirculated condition. I'll say there's just a few tiny scratches, tiny, tiny scratches. It's never been cleaned or anything like that. You see a lot of these that have been cleaned because they have they get really bad toning on them. I think it must be the mixture, the 40% silver mixture, but yeah, this is a nice one. So it's a Philadelphia 1967. Um, then the that was four pounds and then this one for six pounds knocked down from ten uh, I've got a nineteen sixty four solid silver um, again uncirculated um, Kennedy half dollar really nice condition again this one's probably it's, it's less proof light than that but this this is you know quite a well struck coin because you can see the hair in really good detail um, there's one tiny little mark just there. Uh, it looks like where another coin's come in contact with it. Um, probably when going in a bag or something. So um, yeah, really happy with those. Um, so yeah, four pounds and six pounds. And the next thing I picked up was this 1911 half crown. Um, it's, it's you know fine to very good. Something like it's not the best of conditions, really. I mean, you can see his face is very worn, and you know you still retain some of the details here, but you've lost a lot of the lettering. But it's uh, 95 silver. It's um, it's a good weight of silver, and it was marked up at eight, and I got it for six pound fifty. So that was pretty good. It's a nice um, collectible coin as well. And lastly, on the coin front, I fished all out these out of a rummage basket. Also went to an antiques fair uh, little market after afterwards, and there was a rummage box, three items for um, three, yeah, three items for a pound. Um, out of that, I pulled pulled out a uh, Dutch ten cent from 1938, twenty five cent from 1918. And a, a nine, just to make it up, I picked up a nineteen seventy nickel. Um, those are silver, obviously the nickel isn't. So uh, for a quid, that was very good. Then these were a pound each from the antiques fair. They were in with random pendant lot. They all had loops on, which I've taken off mostly and put in the scrap bin. I need a saw for that one. Um, it's a half franc, franc Swiss, Swiss half franc from nineteen ten. That's uh, eight three five silver. This is a Russian 10, um, not sure of the denomination, from 1855. Very nice detail. I mean, the edge is lovely as well. It's got this kind of reeded edge uh, to the other side. It's just a shame about the hole, really. Otherwise, it'd be a really nice coin. I'm assuming that's silver as well, because it looks like it. My book doesn't go back that far, so I don't know. Got a Canadian quarter uh, from 1941. Very worn, but, you know, still for a quid, not bad. And then um, we've got a 1938 um, threepence, a South African threepence, uh, a 1918-1922 threepence. They were all a quid each, which was a good deal. So it's 80% silver, uh, sorry, 80% silver, 50% silver, 50% silver, and uh, 925. So the last thing I picked up was, is the thing which this is actually on. It's a display case came from an antiques vendor who uh, was downsizing a little bit. It's got these foam inside which needs sorting out. And there's a couple of scratches on the glass but it should be okay. Uh, it's got a nice hinge on the back. It's mar marked up at 20 uh, and I got it for 12. So that's a good deal. It needs a new handle on the front, maybe a bit of a lock. The inside sorting out but other than that it's pretty good. So uh, thanks for watching. Happy New Year to you all and um, all the best for 2012.